All right, so let's talk a little bit about average keyword competitiveness. The average keyword competitiveness score in Longtail Platinum is one of the great features that allows you to quickly understand how difficult it might be to rank for that keyword. We do that by calculating on a scale of 1 to 100 how competitive each keyword is, with 100 being the most difficult. So this means that you can look at a single number and know very quickly, should I be targeting this keyword or am I wasting my time because it's just way too competitive? So let's talk a little bit about that scale. Generally speaking, anything that's under 30, we consider to be a low competition keyword. And of course, the lower the better. So if you find a keyword where the competitiveness score, which I'll call the KC score from now on, is in the teens or low 20s, that means it's a very low competition keyword, something you should be able to rank for pretty easily. With a keyword like this, as long as the content you're creating is high quality and your on-page SEO is good, you can probably just throw it up there and start ranking without much additional work. If it's in the upper 20s, it's still low competition, but it might take a little bit more time or effort to get there. And on up the scale. So once you're into the 30s, around 35, 36, and above, you're talking about something that's sort of middle tier. It's still something you could rank for, but it's going to take a little bit more, maybe some extra links pointing to it or a stronger domain. Once you're up above 40, you start getting into higher competition keywords. And that's not to say you should never target those or that you can't rank for those. Again, it just states that you typically do need a stronger site with more authority and some of these other factors in your favor beyond just writing a blog post and hoping you're going to rank there because the competition is just stiffer at that level. And so on up the scale. So once you get into the 50s and the 60s, even the 70s for some really high competition keywords and beyond, those are things where unless you have a pretty big brand online, you're going to have a very difficult time getting to the first page for those. So that's a bit about the scale. Let's look at actually analyzing some keywords based on the KC score. I'm going to show you exactly how I started with a really high competition keyword and used it to find low competition keywords. So I'm going to start out by creating a project called backpacking because I think backpacking is going to be a very high competition keyword and I want to see if I can find some related low competition keywords. So I'm searching backpacking and just getting 20 related results here. And you can see those KC values are still pretty high. So I'm actually going to ask for 20 more results related to backpacking and see what comes back this time. You can see that some of the KC results came back right away, but others are still refreshing. And that's because we refresh KC scores really frequently to make sure that you get up-to-date, accurate competition information. So if you see this spinner, that means that Longtail Pro is going out and searching Google for this keyword, finding out how competitive all of the ranking pages and domains are, and calculating a fresh KC score for you in real time. This does take some time, so you should expect KC scores to start coming back after about 30 seconds, but it could take up to five minutes before all of them are finished coming back. For those of you who used the desktop tool, you'll remember that the bulk KC process used to take 10 to 12 hours sometimes. So five minutes is really, really fast to have this data calculated in real time. Now that we have all of the KC scores back, I'm going to look for some keywords with low scores. So I see here backpacking food with KC31, backpacking hammock, backpacking meals, and also backpacking recipes, all with KC28. And there does seem to be a food theme here. So I'm going to get some more related results for backpacking food. And I'll also get 20 more for backpacking hammock. Since both of these have pretty low KC scores, I expect that a lot of the related results will have really low KC scores as well. And you can see up here, there's this warning saying it got limited results. That just means it didn't find a full 20 results for each, but that's okay because we still have a bunch of new results here that the KC scores are coming back for right now. 
And now you can see that these new KC scores that have come in are, in fact, some really low competition scores. So the next thing I want to do is to filter and find out how many low competition keywords I actually have. So I'm going to set up a filter to include keywords with KC under 30. I'll go ahead and apply this filter. And now we can see that out of 78 keywords in this project, 27 are shown, which means that we have 27 keywords that are low competition under KC30. I'll save this filter as low competition, and this way I'll be able to reuse it in any of my projects so I can get a list of low competition keywords easily in any other project. If you have a filter applied while KC results are still loading, the filter will apply to them as soon as the KC is finished calculating and they'll show up here. There's one more thing I want to talk about which takes the benefits of KC one step further. Aiming for low competition keywords under 30 is a really great rule to follow for brand new sites. It's easy to remember and it's going to work out well for you almost 100% of the time. But if you keep following this rule after you have a stronger site with a more established brand, you'll definitely be missing out on some keyword opportunities because stronger domains can rank for more competitive keywords above 30. On the other hand, it's not a good idea to suddenly start going after super high competition keywords and waste effort on something that you still might not have a chance of ranking for. So how do you know when you're ready to look above 30 and how do you know how much higher to look? Our solution was to create another score called Target KC, which takes your domain and assesses how much of a competitive boost your domain has in search engines. Target KC just tells you what KC you should be looking for when you search for keywords. So if you have a site already, you can enter it into the domain box at the top of your project and find out exactly what level keyword competition you can target. We calculate this by looking at your domain's trust flow, citation flow, and the number of referring domains, since these all indicate how likely your site is to be ranked by Google. With brand new sites, I explained that keywords below 20 are going to be easy, but KC in the high 20s might take a bit more work, even though they're still low competition and you can still rank for them. So with target KC, we give you a range as well. This lower number tells you the KC value where things will be easy for your site. For anything below this lower number, you can write your content, do good on page SEO, and not have to do too much else. For this second number in lighter green, this is still something you can compete for, but you will need a few more factors in your favor, like good backlinks to your page. So you'll want to do some link building and some extra outreach. So now I can modify my filter and put my target KC value of 45 in here. And I can save this as longtailpro.com low competition. And now for all projects targeting longtailpro.com, I have a personalized filter that will help me quickly find keywords where longtailpro.com can rank. So now you can see that out of 78 keywords listed in this project, there are 50 being shown on this page. And that's actually because this only shows 50 per page. There are even a few more on the next page. So you can see that by using target KC, I doubled the number of keywords available for my site. So now we have keyword competitiveness to tell us exactly how hard a keyword will be to rank for, and we've got target KC to tell us exactly what level of competitiveness our domain should be targeting. So if you're just starting out, you should stick to KC of 30 or less. But once you've got a domain, put it in here at the top and use your target KC to help you pick the best keywords for your domain. Hopefully you now understand how you can use long tail platinum to make sure you pick good keywords every single time. So now before you start investing time and money, you can have confidence that your content can actually rank and drive traffic to your site.